Aquarius, welcome to my channel and your daily love guidance reading. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate your love and support. And Aquarius, I post your videos daily and it is impossible to resonate each and every time. If it doesn't, it isn't a message for you, but for another group of Aquarius, okay? And also, please bear in mind also that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. Time is an illusion in tarot as we believe in divine timing. So this reading could resonate with you in your past currently or in the future all right Chris let's see what are your love messages today spirits and angels please show me important accurate love messages for Aquarius today whoa that's you right there Aquarius you show me more Ten of Cups in reverse. Mm -hmm. These are open, so I'm just going to take it. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles. Aquarius, there's something that I feel... Mm, okay, with Ace of Swords in reverse, maybe something that you're unclear about, okay? Uh, that you're not sure and you're unclear about but this card um, I'm just gonna tell you what this card means okay um, and you just take what resonates with you with the ace of swords when it's in a bright position it means clarity it means truth um, it also could mean it's a very cutting energy so you have to cut somebody off or a situation off which is and to start a new um, a new beginning because the a speaks of new beginnings right but in reverse it's almost like not either not being able to cut somebody off or that also that possibly somebody may not speaking the truth here okay aquarius roles can be switched okay so just take what resonates with you uh, but it could also mean um not getting clear answers to uh, an issue or whatever the situation is just not getting clear answers i feel like the world is in reverse here it's almost like going around and round and round in circles um when it is in a bright position you actually finish this the cycle the circle uh it stops itself okay if you look at this uh this is actually if you look at it clearly it is a snake uh, the snake is actually swallowing itself okay so it's just going round and round it's not going anywhere when it's in reverse but when it's upright position that means that um, the cycle will end and the new cycle will begin however when it's in reverse it speaks of still feeling possibly stuck in that old cycle or old chapter that seems to never end whatever the case is okay for some of you i feel like you could be feeling like you've been in this um either the same relationship that has been going on and on and you feel very stuck because you don't still have clarity and about this relationship or this connection or that you know the world in reverse could also speak of just going round and round uh going through the same kind of relationship issues whether it's with the same person or with a few others you know previously so there's something that i feel that is not clear that you feel that you need some clarity but you can't actually find it or see it right We've got the Ten of Cups in reverse as well. There is a sense of like, Ten of Cups could mean uh, a family or a marriage when it's an upright position, happy, you know, happily ever after. Um, family, as you can see, there's a husband and a wife, a wife, and we've got children here as well. But this could also mean just emotionally fulfillment, okay? And if it's in a bright position or a marriage or someone you've been with together for quite a bit because there are many cups here, so it's 10 in total, right? So that is the maximum amount of cups or swords or pentacles in, in the right away tarot. But in reverse, it looks like, you know, it could very well be the opposite as in feeling not emotionally fulfilled when it comes to your love life or um, 
this could also mean an ending of a relationship that you have had for quite a bit, okay? Or that you have emotionally uh, invested a lot or you've, you know, that you have actually loved as well. Um, not all of you are married, right? So if you're not married, then it means that, you know, you just could have spent a, a long period of time with this person and you have already, you know, emotionally uh, invested. But it's in reverse, so I feel like if you're not happy or that they're not happy, okay? Again, roles can be switched here. And we've got the Four of Pentacles and it is something I feel that someone is holding on, holding on to their chest very tightly and um, not actually expressing that they are unhappy, okay? Hmm. But we've got a King of Wands here, okay? And the King of Wands is actually staring at this. It's almost like, it doesn't matter King or Queen, it is not gender specific, but the King of Wands is, uh, it could be um, an Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo energy. And this is a masculine energy, but again, doesn't really doesn't really matter what gender. But this is even the King of Wands in a bright position. I feel like he could still be a little bit of a player, okay? Because the fire signs are very passion driven, okay? Very passion driven and oftentimes can be um, lustful as well okay I'm so sorry that the fire signs actually get a really bad rep when it comes to being committed or you know being um, how do you say uh, loyal as well okay but well because they are ruled by fire so they follow their passion but there is an empress here and it's in an upright position. I feel like for some reason, um, the empress here could be a wife or a mother, okay, of this. I feel like that is the wife of the king of wands here. Someone they've been with for quite a bit, whether it's you or the other person. If you don't think that's you, it must be the other person. Aquarius, I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles here, uh, it shows that someone is working pretty hard and trying to reunite with you. This is definitely somebody from your past here because we've got the Six of Cups, okay? Got the Six of Cups, could be a, an ex trying to return. Or this could also mean reminiscing about the past. This could also mean about children. This could also mean about like an age difference here, an age gap. Six of Cups could also speak of soulmates. And we've got the Fool in reverse. Yeah, I feel like somebody could have realized that they made the wrong choice, okay, took the wrong risk. So something is put at a halt here after a secret has come out because the moon in reverse actually, you know, signifies usually uh, a bright position as secrets, mystery, or, you know, hidden emotions, deep emotions, insecurities, or even fear. But in reverse, I feel like um, the secrets have come out. It's no longer being kept here. Whether it's how they feel about you or a little secret here because someone may not be speaking their truth here in regards to another relationship that they have with another person okay and we've got these six of yeah i feel like they want to come right back in and start a and asking for a second chance here because they feel like you know possibly because you are not paying attention to them anymore or vice versa because upright position is getting all the attention and also it means a lot of other things like coming back and winning victorious feeling victorious and having admirers and a lot of followers but it's in, when it's in reverse it could also mean feeling lost in the battle um, and or feeling like you uh, they have fallen off from grace 
or that you may not be paying them attention anymore. Look, when in his upright position, these people are paying attention to him, right? Him or her doesn't really matter. It's not gender specific. And when it's in reverse, no, in reverse, nobody's paying attention to this person anymore. So possibly wanting your attention or vice versa, I'm wanting to meet you face to face, asking for a second chance here. Possibly also asking to work on things or maybe they're focusing on trying to get back you know, so they, so they could turn the six of wands back in an upright position so you could pay attention to them. Again, the thing is with the, with the um, wands, with the fire energy, they do like attention. They do like that, okay? Um, and I feel like when it's in reverse, you know, maybe that's what they want back is your actually attention, but also... I would say that they could also have still have love for you, okay? They see you as their soulmate, okay? Or vice versa, they want to have a second chance. But again, in tarot, we believe in free will, anything can change, and nothing is ever set in stone. It's completely up to you, and it's also completely up to them. Um, I feel that Aquarius, uh, a lot of people misunderstand tarot reading. Um, they always think that tarot reading is this, uh, it's more about prediction, you know, but the thing is with tarot reading, it's actually not, not always about prediction. It's usually a tool, a guidance, you know, a tool of guidance because um, there is nothing. This is, this is why I love tarot because it's like you have a choice. Um, you have a choice and you can make your decision um, and whatever decision you make, whether it's right or wrong or in between, that will be the outcome that you will have to live with because they are your choices, you know. Um, but, you know, because I'm Chinese Malaysian, right, and in Asian culture, they do the palm reading and they do what they call it, the ba bazi chart. So, but it tells you everything is fixed. They tell you, this is exactly what's going to happen. This is exactly when you're going to die, you know, and how many times you're going to get married. And they tell you it is fixed. You know, this is what, um, this is why I prefer tarot because I believe in, um, you know, I, I believe that it's not, it's not always what, um, it's not just about fate, you know, um, nothing, nothing is set in stone. You have a choice. You know, if you're being thrown in a sea, you have a choice to either keep swimming or drown. So there's always a choice there. But of course, there are sometimes people feel that, oh, bad luck and all that. That, that uh, is true as well. But I love the idea with tarot that we can actually, um, we can actually make a choice, okay? And nothing is really, really like faded in a in a sense. If everything is already written on a book, and what is then what is the point of us living, right? What is the point of us in living? That means we are just puppets, you know, and we have no rights, you know, in determining in determining our future. It just doesn't make sense. So anyway, Aquarius, um, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. And also, I no longer do the um, one to four questions reading for 30 minutes because I find that um, uh, I don't blame any of you, but uh, possibly half of my clients, they would ask a few questions in one question. Uh, I don't blame them for not knowing how to word the questions um, but it just gets confusing um, what i'm gonna do is actually from now onwards the 30 minutes reading which is a in celtic cross spread it tells you your recent past current situation where the future is leading to most likely outcome advice so everything is there um, with the questions, uh, sometimes I don't feel the questions that people want to know is actually appropriate for tarot reading. They want a yes or no question. And again, tarot is not really a predictive tool, although we can predict 
but it is not uh, something you can use to actually say, for example, oh, what's going to, if I go for a job in interview, will I get it? And when I go to this job interview, will I get it? And if I say, yes, you will get it. Um, and if that person takes that answer for granted and just sit back and relax and not actually doing homework and say whatever they want to say during the interview, it's not, they're not going to get it either, right? So, I mean, it's, it's sort of like a, because I'm a Virgo, so I'm very logic, you know, I'm very logical and very practical. But anyway, Aquarius, um, sorry for the long, long conclusion of your reading. Um, again, I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. And as usual, I see you tomorrow. Hopefully, take care, Aquarius. Bye.